Nine, rhubarb in brilliant colours, carrot, carrot, with leaves of green. Flavour bursts with every bite, for a taste experience extreme. Rhubarb pie, rhubarb crumble, spoons at the ready, sit at the table, prepare for the odd bottom rumble. <laughs> <laughs> From D.W. Who's D.W.? The poet called Just Sign D.W. It's a lady, I think. Although when you look at it, you do wonder if it was really a lady. Don't eat the leaf of the rhubarb. It will make you horribly sick. If you eat the leaf of the rhubarb, a doctor is needed and quick. The stalk is just fine as tart crumble and wine or even a savoury dish. But don't eat the leaf of the rhubarb if a healthy long life is your wish. <laughs> well done, D.W. It comes to the solemn moment in, in the year when I, I deliver the Pizza's Memorial Rhubarb Lecture. And uh, I'm happy this year to report that there have been huge advances in scholarship um, on the origins of Fen Rhubarb, uh, but scholars are still divided on it. As you know, um, the Fens were once covered in a vast forest of, of rhubarb. Huge rhubarb trees grew all the way to the sea. And he, sometimes they, foolishly, they dig up bog oaks and say, you know, this is uh, oak. It isn't, it's, it's fossilized rhubarb. Um, now, at the time of the rhubarb forest, herds of dinosaurs roamed through. And these were a sort of dinosaur which existed solely on rhubarb. That was all they ate. <laughs> and of course, rhubarb being what it is, they didn't get much nourishment from the rhubarb because it was, as it were, well, I mean, it was quite a rapid process of digestion, let's say. Um, so that it didn't manage to extract much goodness from the rhubarb as it whipped through the dinosaurs. Uh, so the dinosaurs, theoretically, died out because they couldn't get the nourishment from the forest. But if that was the case, why didn't the forest die at the same time? Because the forests were depending on the droppings of the... I'm all right, ladies, to say droppings, is it? Because the droppings of the rhubarb were fertilizing the forest. So scholars are now still uncertain which went first. Uh, the latest theory is that the forests died through lack of the droppings from the rhubarb. But the other theory is that the dinosaurs ate all the forest, so that they both died together. And if anybody has any evidence at all, you know, if you're out digging in your allotment or in the garden and you find any evidence at all, um, uh, you know the coprolites, of course, the coprolite industry, I mean, that was all dinosaur done. Um, so if anybody's got any theories, um, the... Uh, the professor who in Cambridge who occupies the, the chair of uh, rhubarb studies, or actually, actually it's known as the commode of, of rhubarb studies, <laughs> um, uh, would like to hear from you. But thank you very much indeed. That's the end of this year's memorial lecture. <laughs>